Starting with, President Mahama has cut sword for the commencement of the $1.5 billion Tamar Port expansion project. Now, the project is expected to make it the leading seaport in Africa while generating some 400,000 jobs. The project, which is a joint partnership between the Meridian Port Services and the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, is intended to open up the facility to enhance maritime trade. The expansion comes as the first major works after over 50 years of port existence. Director General of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Richard Anamu, projected that the container traffic for the port will increase from the current 900,000 TEUs to 2.2 million TEUs. Managing Director of the Meridian Ports and Services, Mohamed Samara, was happy about the technology transfer and deployment of modern technologies to meet international standards. We believe that after this massive upgrade and with its ad geographical advantage, Tama Port will indeed be positioned as the maritime hub for trade along the west coast of Africa. President Mahama is elated that Tama Port will be more competitive to handle more trade. The completion of this project will make Tama Port one of the most efficient ports with quickest turnaround times in the whole of Africa. The port will be able to handle vessels up to 360 meters long. The current port is able to handle vessels only up to 170 meters. He also touched on the Tema Accra motor expansion project. As part of the expansion project, MPS will expand the Tema motorway into a six-lane motorway. And it is expected that JICA will provide assistance to develop the Tema end of the motorway into an interchange. The project, when completed in 2018, will accommodate more vessels. Now to banking and Ecobank Ghana has launched a new mobile banking app to allow customers open virtual bank accounts. The new banking app Ecobank Digital leverages the power of technology to deliver instant, convenient and cost-effective solutions to its customers. Ecobank Digital is an instant and convenient way of banking via mobile phone. It allows customers to link their accounts to their mobile money wallets and perform cross transactions in 33 countries. The Ecobank mobile app is designed to make banking easier and accessible to customers. Ecobank, we've created a platform that allow all the other operators to collaborate so that we can co-create value and we can co- Adding it will reduce the risk of moving huge sums of money across borders. Country director for Ecobank, Dan Saki, reiterated the bank's commitment to support the economy. Given the transformation that this will bring to both individuals and businesses across the country, the impact on the Ghanaian economy cannot be overemphasized. We now have possibilities and opportunities to serve you better across the nation and to ultimately deepen financial inclusion. We at Ecobank have recognized this and are committed to putting the power of banking at your fingertips. Finance Minister Seth Tekbe lauded Ecobank for the initiative, adding a more collaborative effort with government will help boost the economy. What we see are opportunities in the services sector that needs to be developed, which will then lead to a more diversified economy, even whilst we pursue policies that will lead to growth of the agricultural sector as well as agribusiness. Ecobank is confident the new Ecobank Digital will open up financial services to the unbanked while serving existing customers. Providing solutions that are relevant to their lives. 
and the chief executive officer of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kweku Sichi Ado, has allayed fears at a forum to commemorate the five-year anniversary of the chamber. He said the industry, if effectively managed, can absorb a substantial number of unemployed persons. Ghana's telecommunications industry has witnessed a tremendous growth generating 35 billion CDs in 2015 from 400 million CDs in 2011. In the first half of 2016 alone, it has generated 30 billion CDs. The industry directly employs about 6,200 people, while it indirectly employs about 1.6 million people. The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, as part of its five-year anniversary, organized a thought leadership forum to engage industry stakeholders on the impact of telecommunication on their sectors. Today, we will say that for information and farmer needs, which is basically tech support, it's just one-to-one -one because it has the device, the mobile phone. The good thing about this is that I don't have to read one law and read the other. I don't have to read one case and read the other. If I'm doing a search on the principles of consideration under Ghana law, I just sit behind the machine, call all of Ghana law database, and type consideration. And in two seconds, every case that uses the word consideration is up on my screen. Though the industry has witnessed growth, the depreciation of the CD threatens its operations. Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kweku Sechi Ado, allayed fears technological advancement in the industry would lead to loss of jobs. They can become entrepreneurs. They can do things on their phone. You can reach your staff. You can video conference. You can WhatsApp conference. So I don't see jobs being taken away. I see jobs multiply. The industry contributes 4.92 billion to the nation's GDP. Well, that'll do for business tonight. But remember, you can get more news. Just visit the Google Play Store. Download the 3 News app and you can get more on business as well as more from your election command center. My name is Nanikia Mensah.